welcome to Kiwi's Upali YouTube channel. I hope you have learned something from my previous video. I wish to continue with this video. As discussed in my previous video, let's go into detail about what is preliminaries in the build of quantities. Generally, the build of quantities is a document in which material, labor, and plant are itemized and priced in separate divisions and in different trades. In this session, I am prepared to discuss what is the pricing preamble and the preliminaries of the build of quantities, yet generally the contents are not limited to the following. 1. Pricing Preambles Pricing preambles are a general introduction to build of quantities which provide a specific guideline for the cost breakup of the item for bidders to offer a more accurate price. It defines the method of measurement that has been used in the preparation of the specific work item. This gives the bidder the required inputs of inclusion and exclusion of the rate which need to be adjusted. 2. Preliminaries Preliminary works shall be defined as the activities required to be carried out before the construction works commence. This can be explained as a one-time overhead cost on a project from the beginning to its end affecting overall activities in the project. For example, access roads and site facilities are shared until the end of the project. The preliminary items make made easier to assess the project administration overall cost involved in the individual activities required to complete the project. The list of activities involved but not limited to the following. 2a performance bond 2b insurance 2c contractor superintendence 2d site saving 2e plant and equipment 2f site holding 2g contractor and engineer site facility 2h project signboard 2i health safety and environment hsc 2j access roads now 2a Performance bond. This type of security guarantee secures the project's successful completion by the main contractor. This protects the client from any losses that may arise due to the failure of the contractor to fulfill the obligations within the contract. The performance guarantee bond is equivalent to a sum of money, usually 10% of the contract sum, which can be used to complete the contractor's unsatisfactory or incomplete work. To be insurance bond, the contractor is liable under the contract for identifying the client against any accidental risk of physical loss or physical damage to the contract work. The insurance bond is sometimes referred to as the contractor's all risk car insurance coverage which covers the contractor's loss and damage and the third party liabilities as well. 2C Contractor Superintendence The contractor shall provide a competent project team inclusive of administration, account and engineering staff. A sample project team organization chart is uploaded and attached in the description box. 2D Site Saving Site saving is an important part of the construction field. It involves visiting the site and making demarcations of the site boundary observing site access points, calculating the land parcel size and shape, accessing roads, measuring levels and marking land contours that help shape the land for required development. 2e plant and equipment the plant and equipment are the plants that are brought to the site to perform the work by the contractor and the subcontractor the plants are generators escalators trains and workers transportation vehicles that may be hired leased or owned by the contractor or subcontractor 2f site holding a temporary fence is built from solid material around the construction site to help prevent unauthorized access and shield weaving inside activities. This also helps to protect workers from flying debris and prevent vandalism and theft.
2G contractor and engineer site facility when determine the site facilities the nature of the work size and location are important the number of workers at the workplace will determine the type and size of the facilities required site of research toilets hand washing parking shed etc should be considered the number of persons who use them at the same time in the meantime the facility should provide privacy and security for both men and women 2h project sign board these are erected at project site to display the public of the project details usually it announces the nature of the development itself the names of the client and his consultants the names of the main contractor and subcontractors etc 21 health safety and environment hsc hsc health safety and environment for the workforce act implemented to protect workers and the public from hazardous conditions and our living planet so all are needed to show adherence to them it is required to take risk assessment at work site to determine what in the site causes harm to people and have taken enough precautions and should do more to prevent harm to j Access roads. Access roads are temporary roads to allow heavy and light transport vehicles and other construction plants and machinery to move over during construction. Thank you. Please wait for my next video for the continuation of the discussion on what is bill of quantity part two. I am pleased if you are motivated by the desire. to explore the value of the fields necessity that would contribute to the construction industry please refer to the description box below for the written description of this video clip with a positive attitude and a growth mindset keep moving forward and explore the field i will see you in the next video If you are inspired and learned something from this video please click like subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell button to receive my upcoming videos and share with others too